integrate uh, x root x plus pi dx. So distributing the integration dx, you can write the next step like this, integration of x times the root of x dx plus integration of pi dx. So this is nothing but integration of x to the power 1 times x to the power half dx plus I'll take the x out and can write x to the power 0 dx. Now the reason I am writing is because x to the power 0 is 1. Okay. So, so this is nothing but integration of x to the power. This is 1 plus half. 1 is 2 halves plus half is 3 halves. So 3 half dx plus pi times. I'm doing more steps so that each one of you can understand what integration is. So using the power rule, when integrating a power, you increase this by 1 and divide by the same power. So 3 half plus 1 is 3 half plus 2 halves, which is 5 halves. So x to the power 5 halves over 5 half plus pi x to the power, increasing this by 1, 1 over 1 plus c. Okay, many of those things you may seem very simple. I, I did not write one here, but I'm explaining why the the logic behind it. So dividing by 5 halves is same as multiplying by 2 fifths x to the power 5 half plus pi x plus c. So this is a perfect answer and you can be really happy about your answer. But as students, you should always go back and check whether the answer is making sense. And this is also a good practice uh, to uh, do the skill of differentiation. Integration and differentiation are opposite of each other. So if this function differentiates to this, sorry, integrates to this, then this function should differentiate to the original function. So what I'm saying is, I'm going to check my work whether this is in fact the integration of the given function. So I'm going to differentiate this. I'm using the I'm going to use the different uh, different uh, the operator differentiating operator uh, of d by dx to each of this uh, element of the function. So two fifth x to the power five half plus d by dx. I'm using the operator to each of them. So pi x plus d by dx of c. d by dx of c. So in differentiation, what you do is you drop the power down and decrease the power by 1. So this is 2 fifth times 5 half times x to the power. You decrease this by 1. So 5 half minus 2 halves is 3 halves. Plus, this is, the differentiation of this is only pi. Okay, so this is, you drop the power 1. So the other yeah, power is 1. If you drop it by 1, if you drop the power, it will be pi times 1, x to the power 0, which is nothing but 1. So I'm writing pi. And differentiation of this, I think you can understand, is 0. So this is nothing but 2 fifth. So this and this gets cancelled. 2 fifth times 5 halves gets cancelled. So what is remaining? It is x to the power 3 halves plus pi. Now you wonder how can you write this as x root x. So this is nothing but x to the power 1 times x to the power half. Because 3 halves is 2 halves plus 1 half. And 2 half is 1 plus half. Okay, so that's not that, that difficult. So which is pi plus pi. So this is nothing but x. And x to the power root, x to the power half is nothing but root of x plus pi. And that's what the integration was about. Okay, let us look at this question. Integration of 6. Uh, sec x, sec 3x, tan 3x, dx. Okay, so we know the formula sec x, tan x integrates to sec x. So this is 6 integration of sec 3x, tan 3x. 
Now, if you write, this is integrate, if you integrate this to sec 3x, that's wrong. Okay, that's what most of the students do. So, I would like to do a substitution. So, let's, let me say let u is equal to 3x. I'm going to let this as u. So, differentiating with respect to x, so d by dx of u is equal to d by dx of 3x. Okay, so d by dx of d, d by dx of u is nothing but du by dx. And the differentiation of 3x is 3. The differentiation of 3x is 3. So now you may wonder what am I doing? Okay, so I want to change this whole thing in terms of u. So you've got a dx. So if you divide both sides by 3, can I write one third du? by dx is equal to 1. Okay, so I'm going to multiply both sides by dx. So it's 1 third du is equal to dx. So I'm going to change the whole thing in terms of u. And this will help you not to make the common error that most students do. So this, in, this changes the so sec integration of sec u tan u times one-third du. So one-third can be taken out, so it's a 6 over 3 integration of sec u tan u du. Okay, so this is nothing but 2 integration of sec u tan u du. Now this formula you can apply directly because sec x tan x differentiates to sec integrates to sec x so sec u tan u integrates to sec u okay secant sec is for short for secant so this is 2 sec u plus c but what is u u is u is 3x okay so ultimately you can say this is nothing but 2 sec 3x plus c okay now you may wonder how can this be the integration so it's always good to check your answer so i'm going to check okay so yeah this is i want to find d by dx of 2 times sec 3x plus d by dx of c so this is nothing but you can take the two out so yeah i'm not going into uh, the long process you used you have to do the inside function so what's the inside function when you differentiate the inside is 3x so this uh, the inside of differentiation of inside 3x is 3 so 2 times 3 times sec 3x sec 3x tan where is sec so sec 3x sec x differentiates to sec x tan x so sec 3x differentiates to sec 3x tan 3x so you all always uh, all you already taken care of this inside function so that is 6 times sec sec 3x tan x tan 3x of course plus 0 so and that is nothing but sec secant of 3x tan 3x and this is confirmed that our integration is right.